Hey there everybody, what's up? Good morning. Yeah, I I just now rolled out of bed. Like a couple minutes ago and I'm still a little bit hazy. You can probably tell by my voice a little bit, but uh yeah. Most important thing around here is happy Independence Day. T today and yesterday was um the 73rd um, Independence Day of the country of Israel, the country of the, 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 the country where I live in, and uh, hold on. That is why, if you look behind me, you'll notice a bunch of flags uh, all over the the, uh, the the neighborhood. So yeah, people have flags on their cars. Uh, decorating their homes and most noticeably on the uh, street lights street lamps so yeah happy independence day for all of us um yeah 73 years sorry uh, i mentioned up top that i just woke up so I'm still kind of oh zangus that's good Still kind of looking for the right words to say. Anyways, you know, the main color of the Israeli flag, as you can see, hopefully, hopefully you can see it behind me. The main color of the Israeli flag is blue and white. So a Zengus makes sense to shiny hunt at the moment because it's shiny is also white and blue and I'm pretty sure it's also the same shade of blue that exists on the, on the Israeli flag hold on yeah that was my alarm clock by the way I forgot to turn it off now, um, if a shiny would be so kind as to show up and wake me up from my uh, morning haziness that one would be very much appreciated but I guess I'm not gonna get that lucky today anywho so yeah today I don't really have much to talk about I don't really have much to make an episode about um, I'm pretty sure that everything that I could have made an episode about I already did yesterday so today I'm gonna take it a little easier maybe uh, just try to focus on some stuff that I've been saving for days where I don't have much to make an episode about namely I'm gonna evolve a few Pokemon that I haven't evolved I'm gonna try to help uh, boost the Pokedex and all that. Second, let me just cross the road here. And uh, today, as a matter of fact, actually, you know what? Should we do a raid? Or, uh, in order to help the uh, global raid challenge thing? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I haven't done much in the way of raids at all lately so, so yeah let's do a couple of raids I'm doing this uh, one star raid because it's easier and it's going to take less time to work on plus I'm already in the area so why not so yeah let's just do a raid I'll evolve a couple of Pokemon and uh, we can wrap up this episode pretty quick. I'm gonna have to try to keep this episode even shorter than yesterday if I can because yesterday some stuff happened. While I did ultimately do an episode, did an episode yesterday, which I'm fine with, it was a pretty good episode. I mean, I talked about Skrelp and Dragalgy and explain some of their origins and inspirations. Some of them, not all of them. 
walked around the neighborhood and actually managed to catch the two new Kalos Pokemon that were added recently uh, in the form of Skrelp and Clauncher. I'm pretty sure I have enough to uh, evolve a Skrelp into a Dragalge man. No, no, wait a minute. Uh, no, I did the math. No, pretty sure I only caught two of them yesterday. One on camera and one off camera, but I do have some candy to evolve other Pokemon. That was what I was confusing with. But yeah, right now I'm only focused on this raid right now. I'm going in with a team of only ground types against this little Shinx. Poor little Shinx. I kind of feel sorry for it now. But whatever. So this will be pretty easy. But yeah, yesterday was a good episode. It's just... Um, unfortunately, because I was too wrapped up in the episode, I just didn't have time to go and get myself something to eat before uh, going to work, which meant ultimately that A, I went to work pretty hungry, and B, I didn't have anything to eat while I was there. So, that may or may not have affected my, uh, uh, my work yesterday. Today I'm hoping to change that. I wanna go to a uh, Get myself something to eat fast uh, before. Um, no, not shiny. Okay, never mind. I want to get myself something to eat uh, before the carpool that takes me very to work shows up. So that's why I'm gonna have to try to make, make this thing a little faster. Okay, so we got ourselves a Shinx from a raid. That's cool. But yeah. Right. Okay, so this is a female Nidoran, and I don't know if you noticed, but there's a male Nidoran on the opposite side of the, of the uh, street. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see if it's still there. The, the, male, the female Nidoran was around here, and there's the male one. Oh, and by the way, um, sorry about that. They br for some reason they brought back these hat wearing Pikachus because I don't know why maybe it's because it's, you know summer or something I don't know but yeah uh, and they're just as difficult to catch as always as they always have been. Okay, got it. That's great. And now, well, look at all these male and female Nidorans. Now you see, there's something that kind of bothers me. They brought in all these male and female Nidorans. They brought Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Zangus, and Survivor, Skrelp, and Dragology. All that is part of Rivals Week. But they didn't bring, um, Two of the Unovan rivals, which there are many, but I'm talking specifically right now about Rufflet and Volaby. They didn't even bring Sock and Throw, which would have been my chance to finally, after all this time, catch a uh, Sock. Because I'm tired of catching all these throws all the time. You need to spin that focus stuff for Latios. Hold on. Latios, aren't you happy that I spawned this unspawned Poké stuff? Well, apparently he is. He just doesn't want, want to show it. Anywho. Now if we scroll down a bit. Here is a rufflet. And I believe I can also have all the frillish right now. Now let me just check and see that it's not my only one. Okay, so I have two of them. Let's see which one I can evolve first. Okay. Yeah, this one is not so good. So I'm going to transfer it and evolve this one into a Braviary. Okay. 
Here we go. It's weird to me that on the day of uh, Israel's Independence Day, I chose to evolve the most American Pokemon ever. Right? Should probably have saved it for 4th of, the, of July, but I don't think I could have hold it for two more months. But yeah. Braviary, like I said, the most American Pokemon ever. I mean, just look at this thing. This thing just screams USA, doesn't it? Now, uh, that's just one Pokemon. Now, how about these two Frillishes? I have two of them. Pretty sure I should have hold the female because it has the highest CP and the better IVs. Okay, this is the female's IVs. This is the males. So, let's evolve Frillish. So far, Frillish into Jellicent. So far, the only water and ghost type Pokemon in the game. Officially, that is. Outside of fan-made Pokemon, obviously. Which is kind of weird. That it's the only one. I mean, just think of all the stories you have of... Uh, Sailors seeing ghosts at sea and whatnot. Yeah, a lot of stories involve revolve around ghosts at sea. So I'm kind of it's weird to me that um, there are there's only one. Well, technically two because they're the same family. But it's kind of weird that this is the only water and ghost type Pokemon. Similar to how Frostlass is the only ghost and ice type Pokemon. But I mean. At least they took a well-known concept and made a Pokemon out of it. That's Ice and Ghost. But yeah, I can see some Ghost Water Pokemon rolling around Steam and such, or uh, Haunted Ships. Yeah, that could be nice. But anyways, I, I got some XP from that. Hold on. Yeah, I got some XP from that. Let's quickly shiny check these. But yeah, I think uh, for a relatively shorter episode, I think I've done uh, more than enough. Am I right? Let me just check and see if there's another raid nearby. An easy one. Hmm. There's a Skrelp raid and, uh, well, we need the Skrelps right now. I'm tempted to go for the Nido King or one of the Hitmons, but nah, I don't really have much in the way of time right now. So, not, not that I'm saying that I can't win, it's just it's gonna take a while. So, I'm going, I'd much rather go for the one star raid so that I can win much easier. Oh, and that's right, it's a poison type, so yeah, that's why. Mammoth Wine also makes sense. Plus, um, I, I kind of need... The, there's... They're getting away this uh, free uh, gift box with, with, that also has um, a remote raid pass with it. But you can't buy it unless you have less than three remote raid passes. It's the same stupid old rule from before. I don't know why they're doing this, but... If they want me to play by their rules, fine, I'll do it. So, I'm going to do this once, and, uh, yeah, I can get myself that free remote raid pass after that. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, today was a good episode. Today was nice and fun. We did a bunch of stuff. We evolved two new Pokemon from Unova. We talked about it, Israel's Independence Day for a bit. I did a raid. This is my second raid. And, uh, yeah been a nice good fun episode now if you'll excuse me i'm not gonna sit on this bench for uh much longer i should probably get back uh to my apartment and uh get myself ready for today's work now obviously just like i said yesterday um <coughs> i'm not going to immediately upload this episode to my channel i'm just gonna upload it later tonight when I'm back from work.
Okay, so. It's, a lot of people are celebrating outside today, so it's kind of hard to avoid crowds. Oh, yeah. Just smell that fresh um, barbecue air. And there we go, the scrub went down easily with no problem. It'll even a challenge, and that's why I did it. Because I kind of need to help out with the whole global challenge thing of everyone having to do 40 million raids all together. Probably a wasted effort to hope that it's shiny because uh, I, I mean it's a new Pokemon it was just recently added to the game so why would it be shiny? I will say though the two scrubs I caught had terrible IV terrible so I'm glad that I caught this one from a raid which means I'm going to have some, a, a Dragalgy eventually with some really good IVs like this one Anyways, that's it. Uh, that's it for today, I guess. I think I've done enough. And, uh, yeah. See you all tomorrow, I guess. Oh. Goodbye. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.